Hello everybody and welcome to a new show. Sorry for missing last week, there was some stuff to do. This is Fata Deum, a game that currently has a demo on Steam. It's gonna be launched, I believe, uh, sometime this year. Yeah, it doesn't have a firm release date yet, but it will have one at some point. You may be wondering what kind of game is this? Well, I think there's an explanation here. Well, actually, there's... Well, yeah, it's in the actual uh, actual banner for it. This is a god game. Specifically, if you've played Black and White, uh, basically that's what it is. Though the developer has stated that this should not be considered something like a, like a remake of Black and White, but instead it is a... Taking their words verbatim... Uh, is not a remake of Black and White. It takes inspiration from God games like Black and White and Populous, but it's not a remake. And yeah, I can concur with them that it's, it's not a remake of Black and White. Uh, for this, maybe the reason that Black and White uh, fixed some issues that God games had and this one doesn't. Uh, we don't have a lot of stuff to choose from in the uh, uh, the demo. It just has one map. The game is still in development. It still has a long way, well, some way before it, it's done. You can choose an enemy god, uh, god of violence, fertility, pleasure, or deceit. Now, that's, this actually reminds me of the, um, the Gods of Azure proposal of a game that I made a couple of years ago, where you would... Uh, also choose what type of god you were meant to be, but you know, it went a bit deeper than just this. It was a bit like uh, that, uh, what was it, Whispers of the Old Ones game that never came out. Anyway, well, let's pick a god, god of pleasure, sure. Let's pick an enemy god and let's set off. The game has a tutorial and I'm uh, thankfully the, uh, the demo does let you disable the tutorial so you're not stuck with it constantly. If you by any chance see some random buttons being slapped and the game going haywire, it's because the cat is sleeping on the keyboard and she will occasionally uh, punch buttons in her sleep. Like she just pressed F12 like 12 times right now, so I'm gonna move the cat a bit farther away from the keyboard, but no, that doesn't work. I should probably use the webcam as a cat cam so you can see the cat and know that it is the reason why I play games very badly. So let's pause the tutorial because, uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, what really made black and white stand out was that y your interaction with the medium was your hand, the hand of God. It was you. Uh, it's not the same for this game. Uh, here, uh, you're just a cursor and there's this Navi thing that's, that never shuts up. You can name her later, but I'm, I imagine it's her for some reason. Let's actually get to it. Listen to the imp. Yeah, no, that's more of a wisp than a wimp if you think about it. So this game does play a bit and looks a bit like uh, black and white. Let's go to the enemy for a second there. But it does have some crucial differences. This is the enemy god. We have six days to clobber them. The game isn't running all that hot, it's 23 frames a second, I'm in still development, I can't say that I have a super spanking amazing video card. Also can't say that this game necessarily looks that super damn spank amazingly well. Maybe if it had a, a bit more of an LOD thing, so it would cut out some details at this level, it would help. See, that guy just just made a, made a miracle here. I'm gonna go do the same with my people and... Uh, take over some areas of the map for example this place I can take over by placing the local yokels and eventually I can actually go to there actually there's this place first to take over I guess actually no I already took this place over this is my place so let's do some wonders let's click on this guy hey what do you want spread love see this guy is a follower of mine now He's gonna pray for me and give me power. See, this is my attitude, moral manner. You need to maintain uh, to be the main god of at least one settlement to be able to level up. Yep, yeah, that's what I do. Ongoing power, inspire. 
Yeah, he's inspiring people, so let's do the same. This is our mana pool, with which you can do all sorts of stuff. One thing that I actually like really like about this game is that um, the day and night cycle uh, features heavily in the gameplay. And I mean heavily. At night, well, you're going to see in a couple of seconds what's what's going on during the uh, the night time. Um, the graphics, uh, going back to these, um, they look okay, but I don't know, it's... I think I was supposed to do a show about this at one point. The lighting. Remember how good the lighting in black and white was? Remember how aesthetically pleasing it was? This one is just flat. That's not necessarily criticism against this game, it's a criticism I have against a bunch of games in the past couple of decades. Let's get this guy to spread some love. Oh, oh. this guy has a request. Uh, my happiness depends on this. Spread love. Sure darn tootin', I'm gonna spread love. See, I spread some love and... Now you're gonna, you're gonna thank me. Ongoing power, God, empower, he's empowering people, that bastard. How dare he empower people. Spread love must be performed on target. Oh, he, he wants a specific target, okay. This guy. Yep, there's one more follower. So this guy has a bunch of followers. I have, I actually think that's my level. Can carry 25. Oh yeah, you just like black and white, you can switch between modes. Uh, I'm actually gonna press this key because I I don't remember what the key to change mode was. Now there's, well this is embarrassing. Was it shift tab E? No, that's there is a key there. No, that's I'm pausing the imp. Do not unpause the imp. This is one of the things I was referring to in terms of stuff that uh, black and white fixed and this game doesn't. You're always interacting with the map in black and white. You're physically moving around. There's a physicality to it that this game does not have. And one of the th those things does involve actually being able to pick up stuff without entering a different mode. Let's see, F1 help. <laughs> navigation basic overview it's nice that it has this kind of help uh, trading supporting mines settlements manipulations okay can we perform a night phase okay oh we're in the night phase aren't we are we in the night phase I believe we go okay we just stopped time so I can go to here See basic icons overview, moral zombies and demons. So we have that to look forward to. Night phases, basic village buildings, mines, advanced buildings, trading, manufacturing. Could have used a search. Oh, there is one. I think there is a search function. Search. Pick. Uh, oh, controls. Uh, these are just camera controls. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while, folks. Basic controls. Yeah, there it is. During the day, change between go good and evil wonders. Yeah, I can do that. C. I have to press C. Or change between good and evil wonders. See, this shouldn't be a factor. Like, this whole thing should not be a factor. You don't need to do that. But here we are in the interesting bit of the game. Oh, pardon. No! Did I? I think I just skipped over the... God damn it. What's with the pop-ups? See, that that's super annoying. I think I just... Uh, I think I activated the tutorial again by mistake and it skipped over the night. But, nah, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait another, wait another day to get the actual things that I wanted to show you. So this is how you pick up stuff. A lot less physicality. A lot, a lot less physicality than in uh, black and white. Let's actually click on this guy. What does he want? 
I will turn it, briefly turn it uh, in power. Okay. Let's inspire this guy. Who does he want me to empower? Perform the empower must be performed on target Ruri Morval. Where is Ruri? There he is. Empower, empower, empower. There it is. I just snapped to this guy. Camera snapping like that, uh, not, not always pleasant, but hey, it's, at least it tells you where you have to go and what stuff to do. Uh, now let's go to here. Camera is a bit fiddly. We have enough mana to do stuff like this. We... Clouds the mind with dark thoughts. Plus one belief. Productivity plus one belief. Infused fear, yes, yes. High mana cost penalty due to missing believers in settlement. That's okay. Let's spread some love. Hopefully this will get the people to believe in us. And then reduce the cost of the mana later on. Make my wish come true. Inspire himself. Except inspire. You have been inspired. You are now inspiration of Delb. You can't do a lot of stuff during the day itself. Um, that's again something that well, I should don't shouldn't hold that against the game itself because it has it has a theme, it has the idea that uh, you although you physically interact with things you know like doing this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You um. You are also a bit of a metaphysical representation of a god. So you're not... Oh, they're actually building a thing here. Oh, that's good for them. They actually think they built it already. Come on. Trying to drop stuff, but it doesn't seem to be cooperating. I don't think I can actually drop stuff there. Can we collect the whole metal bottom? Okay. I'm uh, supposed to be able to drop it, I think. On a place that actually needs the wood. What does this want? Inspire herself. Okay. You're inspired. Now go do something. You. What do you want? Chilling. You. I'm gonna empower. I'm gonna go back to this guy's village. What can I do to you? Productivity extra. See, I like that they look at where my imp is, not my hand, because I don't have a hand. Would have been better with a hand, actually. Again, more physicality. That guy seems to be on Adderall or something. Reduce belief points if mortals are believers. Plus six belief. Okay, more belief is a good belief. That guy keep, keeps doing magic over there. Let's actually take a look, take a look, see what he's doing. How his village has progressed. Well, it's progressing fine. Giant trees, though. Lots of trees. I stole some trees from him, actually, right now. This is a thing that... Uh, oh! <laughs> Did he do a miracle there or just kill somebody? Because it kind of looked like he killed somebody, but no, that was ongoing power. Heal. That didn't look like a healing spell. Uh, the fact that I can interact so easily with an enemy god's uh, domain, again, is something that is completely different from what uh, Black and White did, where you had to... or could only do that like in short bursts. A very, very, very small bursts. And the way this... <laughs> House's uh, place is a bit disconcerting. Plus 10, I think that's they produce something there, I think. Okay, so we should be getting to... Okay, this is the bit. We can now influence people's dreams. We can tell them basically what to do. Raise more trees, build a school. I told them to just build a school and they will build a school. What should we do now? Reduce workload, establish an outpost here we need more uh, more wood okay we're gonna need more wood 
to do that. That's okay. Let's see. Uh, we can get Planet Temple. We need more wood. I think it's actually what the wood was for. Let's see. Where can I drop the wood? I think I'm supposed to be able to just drop it somewhere around here. Come on, stop. Get out of here. And if this is a bit fiddly. Yeah, and I just drop it by clicking here. Okay, so that's how I drop the thing I, I remember now. See, having the stockpiles and uh, in black and white really fixed a lot of stuff. Uh, establish new village, loot an outpost, ongoing manipulation, loot, yeah, loot, uh, not enough mana, not enough yen, okay. I don't have enough stuff. What do they want? Uh, what, what does he want? Build a temple. Yes. Migrate a mortal. Should I send him to a better place? Okay, let's build a temple. Uh, increase workload. No, that's not the right building. This is where we can build a temple. Plant temple. I need more wood though. Okay, let's now collect wood for this place. The camera is a bit fiddly. Come on. Cannot be oh, I cannot collect during the day. I forgot. See that that's a bit annoying. I mean, who does the game think it is to tell me a god that I cannot collect wood during the night? I mean, remember when God built Noah's Ark? He did it during the night, not during the day. I mean, man, the game thinks it's God. Jeez literally but traitans watchtower mortal protection altar interesting Un extractor oh and then there's it's the day again and that sucks okay uh the deadline will be reached in two days okay let's collect wood come on drop the wood did i drop the wood i'm not sure no, it's still in my hands. So I can't drop it. Oh, I can't drop it, but it has to be a specific place to drop it. The control scheme is needlessly overcomplicated. That's really something that Black and White did amazingly well, honestly. Black and White's control scheme is to stay absolutely sublime. And then we say, oh, but the spells, the way you cast them was so, yeah, it was, it was cool as hell. That's what it was. Oh, come on. I need more wood. Okay, more wood, getting more wood. These guys are building something here as well. They're building a school. Oh, this place has wood. We inspire, okay. You're, uh, click on the peon. I right click it snaps me all the way up there snapping isn't all that nice for a camera to do come on click on it does it have more wood now it doesn't so I'm not supposed to drop the wood here what Game is weird, man. Game is weird. It's weird. Did it drop now? I have no clue actually where the wood goes. Again, the stockpiles in black and white just fixed everything. It had such amazing, an amazing UI. Think about it. The user interface of black and white was mostly nothing and this one it needs this it needs these it, it needs this it's just over complicated when such a more simple elegant solution was available inspire nixios okay i'm gonna find nixios and inspire nixios where's nixios we have a school we have a school now cool 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 where is Nixius? Where is that? Oh, there it is. No, come on. I want to click on the character inside there. Inspire. Yeah. 
Yes, I did it. I'm awesome. I'm a super god. But I'm, uh, I don't seem to be the kind of guy that can, you know, uh, do stuff. Okay, I'm probably going to send people to attack, like, an outpost or something uh, during this final night. Because I don't think I'll be playing it uh, much more at this moment. I know they, they said that this isn't going to be a remake of Black and White, as I quoted them previously, but... Um, well, why not? I mean, j just think how many good ideas you can take from black and white in terms of user interface, in terms of how things flow. Sacrifice uh, resources to gain mana. I don't... Can't I sacrifice people? See, that was the neat effect, uh, the neat part of... Inspire himself. Okay, you're inspired. That was one of the neat parts of uh, Black and White. That you could... You were a god. You could pick up a rock and just chuck it at people. Also, the maps were actually interesting. I mean, you could, you could knock on... Knock on buildings and see who was inside. And they come out and greet you. And you had the rocks. Which... Can I pick this up currently? Reach level 3 to be able to collect stone. Really? Wow. Even gods need to level up to be able to pick up stuff? God damn. That I need to level up to, you know, do some apocalyptic level of shit, but no, this is just, uh... Just to pick up rocks. That's sad. That's super sad. Didn't I place it here now? I guess not. Okay, let's see what did they want. I beg you build a woodcutter. Okay. Let's build a woodcutter down here then. Bravia, residence, beer, wood, resources, temple. Not enough yang. I need... What? I don't have enough yang. What? The hell is like this is a stupid requirement actually to be able to build a woodcutter which is it's, this isn't some divine building it's it's a woodcutter i need a specific amount of good energy of good moral standing that's that's goddamn stupid build a tavern yeah okay i'm gonna gonna get you all drunk then Yen extractor, and it seems to be some some of these buildings can only be built in specific places, and that's again that's something that at least black and white never had. Like they knew it was a dumb idea, so they didn't do it. Th the worst thing about black and white was that your villagers were essentially um, I wouldn't say idiots, but extremely needy, codependent morons, and they wouldn't even you know shag uh, without your approval and that was very bad loot a villager outpost i can't actually do that because it's too far away actually is this mine because this looks like it's the enemy's thing and not mine that the map needs a bit of work School. So these guys have all of the mana, all the resources they need. So I'm gonna build a school for them. Yeah. I think there was a way to actually, yeah, press space to skip night, which is not great. God, like I reach a new level. Where's my level? Oh no 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 no. Benefits from leveling. Uh, strike with lightning, heal, protect against wonder, uh, fall in love, unlovable, mana destruction, followers, you can, your imp can carry more, okay. This is me, so every day I level up, I guess. Cool, 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 cool. Well, where's my uh, abilities then? I can heal this guy, I can spread love, I can strike with lightning, see? This is something I, I don't enjoy 
like I have to click on people to cast my spells. No, I want to be able to like throw them randomly, like be be an absolute asshole of a god and let chance decide who gets hit by the lightning strikes. That's that's what made black and white fun. That's what made Populous fun too. He could just chuck a spell, a fireball at something and see what happened. Again, did that look like a healing spell to you? Now, I'm not asking for a giant cow to pet and, uh, you know, walk around the island. That that would be too black and white. Too much black and white, I guess. It's not something that I expect from this game, but... If you're gonna go into this much detail of looking and behaving like black and white, but not actually do the good parts, that's uh, the bit disappointing. Especially in terms of the interface and the control scheme. Am I picking up wood? I think I'm placing wood here. Is that the wood? So that would be the th the stockpile, right? Well, if you mouse over them, you get no info. And that's the problem. Cannot be collected. No more space available. Space where? Oh, space in my hand. Uh, okay, then, I'm, then I want to drop it. Let's go back to the control scheme. So, basic controls. Collect, harvest. Collect, harvest. Isn't that what's supposed, supposed to be doing? Cannot be dropped. Maximum amount already reached. Okay, so they have enough. That's the issue. They have enough already. Now let's drop it here. Cannot be dropped. Maximum... Am I taking from them? It's not clear because... Again, it's not clear if I took... I think I... I know, I think I dropped it because... I don't see the icons anymore in my uh, my imp. So plus, 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 plus. Plus five. See, that's the problem. It also uses plus. And because the imp is already centered on the building, it, the plus shows up in the same place. Yeah, and my cat just woke up. So sit down, kitty. Sit down. Sit down, poofy. Poofy, no. No. Leave the keyboard. No. Don't jump on the keyboard, Poofy, no. Let's do this again. So I'm picking up one at a time and I'm dropping it. Again. Yeah, because that thing showed up. No, it's still hovering over my... Uh, I'm still 35. Let's try this again. Okay, so I'm doing this. 35. Did I pick up wood? Am I picking up their wood? Is it the wood that I have in hand or the wood that I'm... This is the most counterintuitive system of interface and uh, resource management that I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot. Can I just drag drop stuff here? Did I drop it here? And I think this would be the stockpile, but again, it's it's so vague. Oh, somebody's casting a bad spell. Target Mother Nature. Uh, doesn't involve me then. Come on. Why can't I pick? Cannot be. But I'm I'm not level three. Actually, where is my level two? Yeah, the 10 under here is just the number of followers I need to get to the next level. It's not really an intuitive interface, is it? Constitution chilling. Okay, I'm gonna cast a protection against wonder on you. Still need 10 more people. You. You're not one of my guys. Fall in love. You, uh, I shouldn't think I have enough mana. No, it's night time. Okay, so I'm going to have to build more stuff, I guess. Plan a residence. Yeah, they could probably need a residence. 
and you ask us what do you want loot a villager outpost yeah sure i'm gonna loot a villager outpost just as soon as you tell me how to and let's see a graveyard yeah i would probably need a graveyard and we would need a uh, actually we don't have enough mana for anything so let's skip it and he needs seven more people Forty out of forty. Okay, but if I click on it, yeah, it's full actually right now. Uh, the game has some confusing and not really all that obvious systems. Uh, probably be, been more obvious if I went to, through the tutorial again and paid more attention, I guess. But that was the cool thing about black and white. You could skip the well, you couldn't skip the tutorial actually, but everything was really self-evident. That was the hallmark of great UI this uh not so much well fata doom is gonna be out uh this year sometime not sure what they chose this name in particular but hey it works i guess maybe i can steal some of their food i'm stealing food one chunk at a time one bit at a time Man, I miss the physicality of a game made 22 years ago. Again, remember, Black and White was was 22 years ago. You know what, what games were made, being made 22 years before Black and White? Um, Pong. It's the same kind of time difference. 22 years. From Pong to this. Right, from punk to black and white and from black and white to this and yeah it, it kind of got I me mean, it's made by fewer people it's a smaller studio have they actually made anything in the past 42 bits and i don't think they have oh, this is probably their first game they're probably like a tiny 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 studio and i'm just picking on them because i'm an asshole which granted yeah that's what, what i'm doing but you gotta expect you know uh, if you're gonna do this, might as well, uh, you know, uh, give it all, all, all you can. Let's inspire this guy to work faster. Work faster, goddamn you, you little muppet. What the hell did that happen? Yeah, when, when you press C to zoo to use this camera, it just kind of goes to weird places and oh like it's full right now or it, actually is it full or is it just me that is full no oh, this is full again visually visually black and white gave you all the info you ever needed without having to squint at numbers it was just just better well, this has been it for this video. Is he casting a curse on me? I'm gonna be back with uh, the video about my first computer that I said I'd make, I think, uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago. I actually have I reached a point where I'm making it. So I have to click on the well to put the food there. Right? My god, this is counterintuitive. Yeah, three to show guide. What guide? Oh, I see to switch collection mode. Yeah, that that has saved me a bit of uh, hover of mortals. Select, uh, click on mortal. Execute one or yeah. <laughs> Pressing F three would have probably made my life easier, but again, I shouldn't be needing to press to press F three if you made an interface that was you know uh, actually usable which this isn't it's needlessly fiddly and i hope they fix it I've gotta be level six to pick up gold that's uh that means that a golden calf can absolutely like wreck my shit before i get to that level right 
Golden calves are OP as hell. So, uh, I encourage you to check out the demo of Fata Deum. It's on Steam. And see if you like it and uh, drop the devs some feedback. Also watch Steven Nonsense's uh, stream of it. I haven't actually watched it, but he probably has a lot of feedback about the game as well. So, uh, goodbye everybody. Take care and hopefully... Ah, God damn it! I press space again. I forgot I can't switch to evil things at night because time passes. Don't put it on the same key. Don't do that. I mean, actually, I don't have reason to press space at night because I, I can't actually cast spells on my own. I have to cast them on people, which is crappy. Goodbye.